I desire saying today I would like to share the proof of the mean of a binomial distribution equal to NP. Given that the random variable x follow a binomial distribution with parameters n and p and the density function, okay, so we know that the expected number or what we call the mean is the total of all the possible number of x times the density function or what we call weighted average of all possible numbers so we have okay since when x equal to 0 anything times 0 is 0 so we can omit it we just remove so we start from 1 so x times the density function we have and x okay and choose x p power x and q power m minus x okay we do some simplification here so n times n choose x it just is actually x times n factorial over x factorial times m minus x factorial okay in order to remove this x i will make use of the properties of the factorial okay so if let's say i have four factorial basically is four times three times two times one which is four times three factorial so I will have x factorial here. So x times x minus 1 factorial. Okay, x factorial. So x times x minus 1 factorial. Then times m minus x factorial. So for the numerator, in order to have the same pattern, so I will take minus 1 as well. If let's say I take m minus 1 factorial I have 2 times n so x and x cancel each other okay then for this part okay obviously okay we have m minus 1 x minus 1 okay times m so this is equivalent to the summation from x equal to 1 to n x okay the factor the binomial factor now we have m minus 1 x minus 1 okay in order to have the same pattern x minus 1 okay for the power of p then I will have p times p x minus 1 okay times so we have the power 1 plus x minus 1 so we will get back x exactly the same okay then same for the power of q so we take m minus 1 minus x minus 1 so minus 1 minus minus plus so plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 we get 0 so we get back m minus x okay we take out the one that not involved in the calculation of x okay since n and p are not involved in the calculation of x means that they are constant so we take out n and p so we left summation x equal to 1 to m m minus 1 x minus 1 okay p x minus 1 then we have q okay n minus 1 minus x minus 1 okay we do some simplification here so we let 
KB at minus 1 and JB x minus 1. So we have total for j. j. Okay, when x equal to 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. j equal to 0. Okay, then we sum to, okay, k equal to m minus 1. So if let's say m minus 1 is equal to k, so it means that the maximum number that a binomial can weigh is k. So we put k here. Okay, although n is equal to k plus 1, but k plus 1 is undefined. So we put k here, then x minus 1 is j. Okay, p, x minus 1, j, q, n minus 1 is k, minus x minus 1 is j. Okay, as we can see, this is actually the probability probability density function of a binomial distribution and we know that the total probability density, fu density function of a distribution is equal to 1 so meaning to say n times p times the whole thing here which is equal to 1 we obtain n p then we already proved it okay that's for watching hope you like this see you